Well, the election is still 10 months away, and it's really uncertain as to who the candidates will be, especially on the Republican side. I think Hillary Clinton will almost definitely be the Democratic nominee. But that being said, as a political scientist, there's some underlying fundamentals that lean in the direction of the Democrats in terms of our county. In the last election, which was a, a midterm election, an off-year election, where turnout was really low, less than 50 percent, the Democrats in both of the major races in the state assembly and in the uh, U.S. House of Representatives won, and, and won by, you know, a legitimate margin, about 5,000 votes each. And so in a, in a big election, a presidential election, turnout will be more, and so it's very likely Democrats will do even better in terms of their margin. In terms of the county, the um, Latino vote has historically been a lower turnout vote and um, much more fluctuating between midterm elections and general elections. And when a president's on the ballot, I think the Latino vote has been a lot higher and tends to break very heavily for the Democrats, and especially in this cycle where some of the leading Republican candidates, especially Mr. Trump, have said some very inflammatory things towards immigration and, and the idea of the Latino community and immigrants from Mexico, I think Latino turnout will be a lot heavier in terms of, um, of that demographic, and I think it will break pretty heavily towards the Democrats. I think another factor working for the Democrats in terms of Ventura County is their statewide advantage. And the fact that the Democrats are almost certainly going to win the state by a big margin means that the Republicans on a national level are not going to put money into California to try and drive up turnout. And without national money, it's going to be really hard for a get out the vote kind of an operation to be funded at the, the countywide level. And I don't think any of the candidates running on, on, a, on a state basis in, in Ventura County also are going to have such a great get out the vote operation. So I think that works for the Democrats. Uh, traditionally, Ventura County has had a rough split where the Caneo grade breaks between a, an East County and a West County demographic in the East County. Um, Simi Valley in particular, Thousand Oaks, have been more heavily Republican areas, and the coastal areas, uh, Oxnard, Port Wainimi, and to some extent Ventura have been more heavily Democratic, and I think that split is being even more accentuated with the current polarization that's going on nationally in our politics, and especially in presidential election, you'll see a pretty heavy break between East County and West County, with East County going towards the Republicans and West County um, have more heavily towards the Democrats.